JSON Web Tokens are widely used for authentication and authorization in modern web applications. When a user logs in, the authentication server creates a JWT, signs it, and sends it to the client. From there, the client sends this token in subsequent requests to prove the user's identity. As you'd imagine, how you store and handle this token on the client side is critical. A single misstep could open the door to attackers to steal users' credentials and cause serious damage to your system. So let's explore the best practices for securely storing and handling these tokens and why most developers are doing it wrong. First things first, let's talk about where to store these tokens once the server sends them to you, the client. One option is local storage. Local storage is a storage solution provided by browsers that allow websites to store data that persist even if the browser is closed. It's incredibly easy to access with just a few lines of JavaScript, which is exactly why some developers love and use it. But here's the problem. It's vulnerable to cross-site scripting attacks. If a malicious script runs on your page, it can easily access the storage and steal the token. The next option is session storage. It works similar to local storage, but with one key difference. It clears itself when the browser tab or the window closes. This might seem like a security improvement since the token doesn't persist forever, but it's still vulnerable to cross-site scripting attacks. Any script that runs on the page can easily access the token. The best approach for storing JSON web tokens is using HTTP cookies. Cookies are a small piece of data that browsers automatically include in requests sent to servers. They are created on the server side and sent to the client's browser in an HTTP response with a set cookie header. The browser processes this header and stores the cookie in its cookie jar. On the client side, all you need to do is initiate the request and the browser and server handle the rest automatically, including all the relevant cookies in subsequent requests. What makes cookies the safer option is that the cookie jar is stored securely by the browser itself, separate from the JavaScript execution environment. Unlike local storage, cookies aren't directly accessible to every script running on your page. Cookies can also be secured with additional security flags, protecting against cross-site request forgery and other malicious attacks. This makes them the much, much safer option. Check out umacodes.com for in-depth courses, coaching, and more, and don't forget to follow Umacodes for more programming videos like this.